had to get this. It's called Juice On Portable Battery Pack. Actually, it looks like this. It's charging right now. So that it would look like a dick. Because she wanted to put a hidden camera in this room because all this is framed um, over a guy. So she wants me to, um, and so does he, um, want to piss this guy off. And so this right here um, is a portable battery. It hooks up to my cell phone. The one that I just showed you in the package. That's what this is. And they're making it look like a dick. So that it looks like um, I'm sucking a dick or something when I'm bending down right here. It's a portable battery. Um, I had to go to the hospital to get routine blood work labs drawn um, from my gastroenterologist office, Leah Kaufman. Every three months, I have to um, get like a complete blood count. Um, they got to check like my white blood cell, the teeth. They just got they got to check a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> and, um, I can go anywhere to get the lab work done, but I have to have like the order sent somewhere. So the easiest place for me to go is to a hospital walk-in lab, because um, I'm in Florida, you know, because I don't know any of the other doctors' offices or anything or like little labs. So um, the easiest place for me to go is there. So I stopped at like a, a hospital today, and um, they did lab work. So they took like four vials of different um, lab works to check my blood count. And St. Cloud Regional Medical Center. Then because apparently somebody is trying to marry someone and um, the whole entire time she embezzled all of my stuff and destroyed my property and stalked me to every place where I was at and made it look like it was her that was there and he helped her do it um, so that us two couldn't, I guess, see each other or be together. And so he knew where I was at, so he would always um, run around and make it look like I was doing something with him or um, stage some stupid-ass fucking fake thing that wasn't really happening. And then make him think that that's what was going on because they knew he could see it and they could see, they could they knew what the camera angle was set up at. So they'll like run in and jump on the bed where the camera angle is at, um, on purpose. Everything's on purpose. So, um, anyways, I had to do this because somebody was actually probably tracking a time to do that because there's some guy that. Um, she really doesn't want me to be with, so they figured if they tried to um, make people think I was pregnant, it'd work. When I wasn't pregnant, they tried to get me pregnant. Um, that's not going to work either. So This is what I got. This is what I paid for. This is what I took today. It is called Take Action As Soon As Possible Within 72 Hours of Unprotected Sex. It is used to lower the chance of pregnancy after unprotected sex. That's what that does. That was $20. That's what that cost me, by the way. Um, my potassium I picked up from the same Walgreens. I stick everything in my, my suitcase when I get back. My azathroprin I picked up from that same Walgreens, and my entire bag of genomycin I picked up from there. Oh my God. They're actually like moving things, so like if it's setting out, I knew that somebody was like showing up um, that I didn't know was showing up, but they knew was showing up, and they were pretending like they were like helping him, but really. They were doing it to frame me so that um, he'd want to be with her. So what they did was, um, like if I have something I just bought or I've got like something sitting out and let's say it was videotaped and it was on there, um, they will hurry up if I fall asleep and shove it in a corner 
off of that so that if like somebody were to walk in they wouldn't see it um, because she made it look like that wasn't me that was in the room and that this was theirs I think he was mad and she was mad, so um, they work together. And she smokes, so I'm assuming it has something to do with Molly Morgan. Um, I think they have her come go sit out there, like why I'm in here, so it looked like it was her that was here. Um, anything that I paid for, like they just stole my lift, and she'll run out and take the lift that I just ordered and actually get into it. And I have to get on the lift and file a complaint. Um, and she'll go get in the car because he'll look out the window. Because um, he can only see from that view. and Which is why they don't want me to have to go out in the driveway. And so um, she'll steal the one that I just ordered to make it look like it was her on that phone ordering that lift. And getting in that lift. Because he could see um, the screen or see whatever. and so Or see out the window and knew whoever like on there had just ordered it was the one that just paid for it and that was their account and then they have her go get outside and I'm stuck in here and I'm trying to get a um, signal on my phone and I'm freaking out because the money got taken out of my account and there's no fucking lift and somebody changed the end address on my um, starting point from like a six at the end to a zero really quick so that um, wherever that hole is he could pick her up and make it look like she was me. So then it took me another um, hour and 45 minutes to two hours before I even got to leave the house today because I had to wait for another lift to come out and I didn't even want to press send on the button because I wasn't sure if they were going to try to um, take money out of my account and not send someone else. So. So then I started not putting stuff out because, oh my god, my freaking laundry soap just got twisted. Because I didn't want, um, I didn't want to lose it. Because I knew I'd lose it. I need it. So, um, let's say they see this and they were to walk in the room and be like, oh my god, I recognize that from the, so they dump it out, Okay. So that, that way I'll go throw this in the garbage and they'll go put it in the house down the street that they're making it look like I'm in. Then they come in here and, and smoke cigarettes all over the place. And then as soon as somebody's like either getting out of work or coming around, so it'll smell like cigarette smoke and he can't hear or see me. And so he doesn't know. He just thinks that it was me doing that. No, I've got laundry soap all over the floor. I mean, the comforter. It smells really good. It smells really, really good, actually. I'm sure I turned my head for a second. I mean, I jumped out of the bathtub or something. Because like I said, this is on here, and I had to take it off the top of here so I could open my suitcase and stick the rest of the stuff back in there. So that's what I'm doing when I'm standing right there. It's really not as interesting as you probably think it was on some like stupid video they were trying to make look like I'm not doing something wrong. I'm gonna like bore, like bore it for you, make a boring video for you instead of a fun one. Yeah. I'd rather be making the fun one. The only thing is, like, I don't, I'm not the type of person that even for like revenge, I just wouldn't waste my life stalking someone so I could dump out their shampoo. I'm sorry, it just it's never gonna happen. I would never stoop like to be so low of a person, to be like so skanky that. Someone wouldn't want to be with me because they saw my shampoo bottle got emptied out. 
and they opened my suitcase and saw an empty shampoo bottle. I mean... about like all my stuff um my q-link phone which he could actually see the photos on they destroyed um the second i went to this place where you try on like wedding dresses um it was by this place called like playboy tuxedo in granville in grand rapids not in florida i'm in florida now but um i went in there and tried on wedding dresses and all the pictures are on this phone and as soon as um I would look at any pictures on this phone. My phone would quick stop working. Um, somebody would completely kick me off of my cell phone and the whole Q-Link phone would shut down. Um, everything on my cell phone. Um, so now they just break, they broke the whole entire front screen of this cell phone. So I was going to switch like the Q-Link company to the phone I'm talking to you on now and pointing at, which is my Metro PCS phone. But... I have like an unlimited service through Metro PCS that I pay for, and so I get um, unlimited data on my phone, and I use data all the time. Um, that was what I was doing when I was out on the bus. I use it all day long, all all day long for work. And so when I'm in this house, there's only like an internet signal, and there's a metal roof above me, and so I can't get my signal on my cell phone like to beam my cell phone. So um. When I was trying to change stuff on my phone, it wasn't, like, actually getting out to anywhere. But now that I'm, like, live, um, you can, like, see me. I'm not sure you can actually hear the conversation or if you just, like, sees me. Um, I, you know, I, I try to focus in on that, but I don't ever want to live that way. And so my mind doesn't, my mind does not focus that way. It's just, it's not how I live. So my mind more focuses on every time they try to do something really rude to me to fight back and quick try to make it look like I'm in a different spot or move really quick or jump up and jump in the other room. But it doesn't help because they've even um, staged it to where like if they walk into a bathroom and they stick their dick out to go pee, they're recording that and then they make it, they like throw something on the floor or have you go change the toilet paper over the toilet, over the thing, you know, so you're changing it so it looks like you're like touching their whatever. And so even the frames they're, like, adding together, I, I mean, if that's what you're watching, and that's why you're going to go be with someone else, I don't want to be with you anyways. The only person I ever want to be with is somebody who can sit next to me that isn't doing it for a camera or to make fucking noises next to me or for any other fucking reason but to hang out with me. Which is why I hang out the fuck alone. I guess it won't ever be that way. So I'm gonna be like this forever. I mean, I have to, I like, plug something in, and then two minutes later I see somebody come, like, as soon as I plug it in here, and there's, like, a blue light beaming out of it, it's facing right here, and I walk out of here. They'll walk in the door really quick and come in the bathroom. And they never come in this bathroom, they go in that bathroom. So I know that's what he's coming in here for, so I'm like, there must be a camera on my plug to my socket coming out of here that I'm plugging in to charge my cell phone with on my USB port. And... They'll set something there and put their hand there. Make it look like they were the ones that just plugged it in. Oh my god. It just it sucks that I would I have to like sit there and not say anything about it because the longer I don't say anything about it, like the, like if I snap, there's not gonna be anybody here to save that person I snap on. I don't know if they realize that or not. Because I literally don't want to be around people that are only around me for that reason. 
I never will. That's never going to change. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to do that. I want to think about doing that like when I'm in a house. And I, that's why I had my own place. So I have my own car. So when I have something I have to go pick up, I go pick it up. I don't have somebody staring at my cell phone knowing that I have like five prescriptions I have to go pick up and two of them fucking ointments that go on my leg that I have to put on every fucking day. As soon as I take a shower, they know it gets wet and then I got to reapply the fucking ointment to it. So they'll sit there and, and no one wants to get, find me a fucking way to go get it. And so I'm just done with it. I don't care. I don't care who's watching. I don't care why they're watching. I don't care what I'm doing when they're watching. I don't care if they watch and I didn't fucking move that day. It is no one's business what the fuck I'm doing. And so I'm waiting and waiting and waiting for the moment someone says that's what the fuck they did. But they really don't have to because, see, they showed me what they did. You know... People's actions kind of speak for themselves, right? So if my actions were something horrible, I would be like, Oh my God, hurry, get that shot. There's a fucking washcloth on the bed. That means sex is on it. Hurry, she just plugged that in. Walk by it. Hurry, she just did that. And they do it all fucking day. So the only time... There is normal is when it's me. That's it. The only people I like are animals. And then even then, like if the animals are um, other people's animals or whatever, you know, like um, like there's a big dog, I might still be scared of it. It'll give me, like, start my heart racing. Because, <laughs> like, you know, he like jump up and he's like the same height as me. I didn't have a dog, so I'll get all, like, nervous. My heart will start racing. That would be the only reason they'll get their dog out. So it's like, do you wonder if they are taking your heart rate? Or do you just know? And it just so happens to be right after my money gets stolen out of my account. Always. Um, the other room or someone um, will send a message to my phone saying, you ho whore. Um, as soon as they steal my money. I'm a ho. Because it makes my heart race. Then it'll look like I did drugs. With the money they just stole. <laughs> oh my god. You're fucking And I'm a bitch. I don't know what the fuck's in anyone's account. Except mine. I don't ever know what's in anyone's shit. Except mine. Guess what? That's also never going to change. Mm -hmm. I just had to clean up laundry soap off the beds. Now there's a wet spot on here, so... I pissed the bed, and they'll say they cleaned my sheets for me. Which is fine, I don't care. But, uh, I'm gonna have to go put it in there, it sounds like wet. But it smells really good in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm.